Luis Legareta, thank you for uh, 129 uh, pesos, I believe. How does the 04 light compare to the Vista? I have a 250 that would benefit greatly from the weight loss. Um, <clears throat> I, I would say that the image quality on some of the Vista cameras, I'm not going to say superior to the light, but like the, the larger lens and the better dynamic range on some of the Vista cameras, I would prefer to the 04 light. But obviously, the weight savings are substantial, right? And and fundamentally, the only thing about the light that to me would be like a deal breaker is the field of view. The field of view is relatively narrow. And then if you turn on stabilization, it becomes unusable. So basically, stabilization is unusable on the light, uh, I think. That's that's what I would say. Um, but if that's okay, you're going to save a substantial, like, you're going to probably save 20 grams, 25 grams maybe. I'm not sure what the exact weight on the uh, on the Vista is, and and on a sub 250, that's a that's a fair amount of weight. So I think it's usable. I think that with an aftermarket camera, uh, I'm sorry, with an aftermarket antenna, it, it's it's very usable. Is the range more or less than the Vista? I'm not sure about that. I, I'm not going to test the Vista against it. The Vista is old enough that it is I think lower it's power. Just, uh, the Vista goes up to 1,200. That's true. The light only goes to 700. Valid. Valid. So it's plausible that the Vista would have more range. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to test it, though. It's like I'm, I'm just I just think that the Vista is old enough that it doesn't really, at least for me, it's not like, yeah, I don't know. I think there's, there's better ways to use my time. Um, Travis Eastman, thank you for a $10 super chat. Should I upgrade to the G3 from the G2? Uh, I think that's a hard sell. It, I think the G2 still holds up very well. You're not getting the 60 megabits per second and you're not getting the racing mode. But if you look at the price difference between the G3 and this, you're going to sell the G2 for $300, maybe. Maybe not even that. And you're going to buy the G3. So you're going to be, what's the G3 going for? Right now, G3 is going for, hang on, $500. So if you were able to sell the G2 for $300, you're, you're spending $200 to get the G3. I, I'm not sure that's worth it to get racing mode and 60 megabits per second. I think the G2 is very, very capable. But it's your money. I don't think it's a must buy. <clears throat> What's the best 1S whoop that binds with the goggles Integra? Cooper Swart, I don't think you should answer that question right now. Um, I think that there is about to be, in the next month, a whole shitload of 04 light-based whoops that deserve, uh, deserve your consideration. Right now, is there even a 1S whoop at all that runs the 03? All the ones I can think of are 2S. Or, or 3S or 4S. Yeah, I think you should wait a month to answer that question because the 04 Lite is going to be a game changer in that respect. I have three quads set up with walk snail. Is it worth the money to switch to the 04 Air Unit and get Goggles 3? Um, I, I hate when people ask me, is it worth the money? Because almost always the answer to that question is, it depends how rich are you. And I don't know how rich you are. You're considering buying three Air Units at $220 a piece, that's $660, and the Goggles 3 at $500, you're considering dropping over $1,000. So that means you've got money. Is it worth it? I don't know. It's, you have to spend your money. Do, are you happy with Walksnail? Are you kind of looking for permission to spend the money? Okay, you have my permission. It's worth it. It's amazing. It's so much better. You're going to love it. I don't know. I mean, I'm just telling you what you want, what I think you want to hear there. Um, that's such a huge amount of money. Like, you would have to really just be dissatisfied with walk snail. Like, what I would do, what I would do is I would build a, I would build one new drone. This is my actual advice to you. You're looking to spend money, I can tell. Buy the Goggles 3 and build a new drone, one new drone with the O4 in it. Okay. Or 
buy the Goggles 3 and 104 air unit and put it in one of those Walksnail drones. But personally, I would just build a new drone, because who doesn't like building a new drone? And now, you can decide for yourself. You're going to fly the O4, you're going to fly it with your Goggles 3, and if you're like, oh my god, this is so much better, then you're going to happily spend the, the money to outfit the rest of your fleet with the O4. And if you're like, eh, it's not that much better, then who cares? No big deal. You spend a little money, you could always sell the goggles if you decide you don't want them. Scott Perry, thank you for a $5 super chat. Last week I asked HD0 versus DJI. I got G3 and O4 Lite. Can you increase range and penetration by using the O4 Pro antenna on the O4 Lite? Um, d debatable, maybe. Uh, it remains to be seen. Remains to be seen. One thing you should know, uh, Chris Rosser found that the output power on channels uh, 3, 4, and 5 was significantly higher than 1, 2, and 6, 7, and 8. You should double check his video for the exact channels. But the middle channels had significantly higher power, and so setting it to channel 5 would help. That's the thing to keep in mind. Luke Stearman, any plans to review the Walksnail GT? I actually have one, and I do think it deserves to be compared to the O4. Um, would the backwards compatibility and the moonlight upgrade make it competitive? Maybe, maybe. Um, the GT, I think, is uh, the with raw output power might be able to beat the range of the O4. Uh, and the moonlight camera is, uh, I think the O4 is a better camera, but the uh, the moonlight is not like so terrible. It's not terrible. It's it's usable. Um, for me, frankly, to, like if I was tr trying to get 4K cinematic footage, obviously the Moonlight's the one to get. But for just general flying, the Pro, the Waxnail Pro camera is the one to get. Such better light sensitivity and dynamic range. Uh, 